okay hello everyone so let's look at our next differential equation model so our next differential equation model we talk about mixing problems the situation is let's say you have a tank filled with water or some kind of other liquid let's take water for simple example and what you do is you input water at some rate and at the same time you take the water at some rate out now we are not interested about water here actually we are interested about some kind of a pollutant or some kind of a substance that comes to the tank or inside the tank what happens to this substance or what happens to like salt let's take salt as a simple example now no matter what whether you have salt inside the tank or not maybe the salt is coming from outside the amount of salt inside the tank is going to change over time because you are inputting water and at the same time you're taking out the water so we are interested about the rate of change of salt okay all right so let's say a is the amount of salt that you have after time t and t is the time okay simple t is the time so we are interested in rate of change of salt rate of change of amount now it's simply the rate that salt comes in minus the rate that salt goes out right so the differential equation is simple like this the rate that salt comes in minus the rate that salt goes out but what is the rate that comes in so the rate that comes in is the concentration of the salt that comes in times the input rate how fast you input this water okay so it's actually the concentration in times the rate in and the rate that goes out is the concentration of salt that you have now okay times the rate that goes out right so this capital r rate is actually the concentration times the rate that goes in and out okay and remember one thing is very important a and concentration is different a is the amount you have after time t and c is the concentration at time t okay so those two are two different things the best way to understand this scenario is through an example so here in this example say a tank has volume 100 which contains salt as a concentration of 0.5 so what does that mean so let's try to solve this differential equation okay so it says the volume of the tank is 100 meter cube okay and which contains salt at a concentration of 0.5 gram per meter cube now the tank contains salt already what is the initial concentration is 0.5 right so that's the initial condition do you see okay so initial condition should be for amount because this differential equation for this is for a right for amount you have the concentration how do you find the initial amount of salt you have in the tank well the initial amount at t is equal to zero is amount is actually concentration times the volume right or you can think it like this what is concentration means the amount divided by the everything right amount divided by the volume so how do you find the amount concentration times the volume so that is why they have given volume here a is 0.5 times 100 which is actually 50 so you have 50 grams of salt initially in the tank okay let's move on let's formulate the differential equation now so we have the a over dt now what is the rate that comes in so the rate that comes in is in the question they says water with concentration 0.1 is pumped into the tank at a rate of 4 so the concentration that pumped in is 0.1 the rate that pumps in is 4 so 0.1 times 4 minus what is the rate goes out the water flows out of the rate at the same 
rate that the water comes in. So it's actually 4. The rate that comes uh, goes out is 4. Now what is the concentration? That is what we don't know, right? What is the amount? The concentration we don't know. The concentration or the amount we have now is A and the concentration is A over 100. So this is the concentration that we have now in the tank after time t. Initially we had 50. Now when you switch on the tap, the draining, we don't know how much salt we have inside the tank. So let's say that's E. So we divide let's say that's a my bad so we divide a by the volume 100 and then we get the concentration so this is the differential equation so let's simplify it the a over dt is now 4 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.4 minus 4 over 100 is 25 so this is a over 25 now what we want to do is we want to solve this differential equation okay so let's take that a over 25 to the left and then this is equal to 0.4 now this is a differential equation where it's linear and autonomous and also this is in the standard form which means p is 1 over 25 right that is the coefficient of dependent variable a here we can find the integrating factor by taking the e to the integral of 1 over 25 with respect to t so if you integrate this with respect to t we get e to the t over 25 as our integrating factor now once you find the integrating factor what we do is we multiply the standard form by the integrating factor so e to the 20 t over 25 ta over dt plus e to the t over 25 a over 25 0.4 times e to the t over 25 now we know we can rewrite the left hand side as integrating factor times a derivative of them with respect to t and which is equal to the right hand side 0.4 e to the t over 25. Okay, now we integrate both sides with respect to t. This is the procedure that we learn in section 2.3. Now we inter if you integrate the left hand side we get integrating factor times a and then we get 0.4 if you integrate e to the t over 25 you will have to divide by 1 over 25 but dividing by 1 over 25 is same as reciprocal multiplication so reciprocal of 1 over 25 is 25 so we multiply by 25 plus c c is an arbitrary constant okay so let's find the explicit solution by dividing by e to the t over 25 so a is 0.4 times 25 is 10 10 divided by e to the t over 25 is just 10 because these two will cancel out now c over e to the t over 25 which we can write 10 plus c e to the negative t over 25 we can bring this term to the numerator by taking the negative okay so that's the solution so the amount of salt oops, left after time t is found by ourselves, right? Okay, so let's go back to the note. So this is the solution we got, right? We got the same solution as in the note. Okay, let's analyze it. Now in the circuit lesson, we learn about transient term. What is transient term is? Transient term is the term in the solution where it involves the time. So the transient term here is what I circle from blue color. Other part is actually the steady state part, right? Now think what happens in the long run. When you do this process for the tank for a long time, the amount of salt inside the tank will stabilize, will approach the steady state. Think about it when t becomes large the limit of what is the limit of a here when t goes to infinity well when t goes to infinity this blue term will go to zero exponential term will approach to zero it's exponential decay so zero plus 10 is 10 okay so the amount of salt will be 10 gram after long time and after that it will not change
okay if you if you input the water at the same rate and take out the water at the same rate in the problem the amount of salt in the tank will eventually approach 10 grams and will not change okay now think about how the slope will look like for this scenario okay so we have equilibrium solution at 10 right so there will be horizontal slopes here if you have a s amount of salt larger than 10 grams in the tank it will decrease down an approach to 10 grams and then later will not change or if you have amount of salt less than 10 grams salt will come from outside it will increase until you get 10 grams and then after that nothing will change okay so when you're learning these models differential equations every time you should look at the solution you should look at the differential equation ask what are the equilibrium solution what is the steady state solution what is the transient term what happens in the long run okay so if a new model is given to you you should be able to look them and visualize everything even a part of the slow fit okay all right so um yeah that's the discussion about uh, mixing so uh, mixing solutions yeah thank you very much